Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to install SSL certificate. Basically free SSL certificate provided by Let's Encrypt on Jimbra mail server. I already have demonstrated how you can build your Jimbra mail server on CentOS 8. So in continuation to that video, I am presenting you this video. So let's get started. Coming to my computer screen, here you can see I already have written one article to install SSL certificate on Jimbra mail server. So first of all, you have to connect to your uh, remote server for that uh, you need SSS client and uh, let's open the party and copy the IP address. All right, then username root and the password. So let me get the password. All right, let me change little settings here. Next, uh, you need to first of all install uh, epl repository, so copy and execute the command. Next, you will need to install snapd package, so get ready with uh, next command and execute it. After that, you have to enable snapd. So, obviously you have to answer yes here. Again answer yes. Alright, so execute uh, next command and then once again you have to execute next command. Alright, so next step is to install uh, snap core. Okay, it is saying that uh, device not yet seeded or model device model not acknowledged. So what need, what you have to do is to wait for uh, some time. Um, I would say like uh, 30 seconds to one minute and then you execute this uh, next command and it will and after that you will not get any error. So let's uh, execute it. All right. So now you can see that uh, process is going smoothly. So you have to wait here for 30 seconds to one minute. Alright, so after that uh, copy the next command. Very well, while that uh, command is getting executed, I should get ready with next command obviously. All right, so execute next command, done. Next, you have to get the certificate for that. Execute the next command and it will ask you, it will basically give you two options. So here you have to answer one. All right, now it will ask you your email id so that it will inform you about um, renewal and security updates so here type admin at the rate your domain or you can also type any other uh, email id if you have you can also use your gmail yahoo mail whatever and after that press enter and now here you have to agree with their terms and condition answer yes and uh, here whether you want to share your email address i don't have any issue i can answer yes you can answer no it's up to you all right now it will ask you to enter your domain name so enter the domain name now here you have to type your uh, uh, full uh, host name basically so mail.inlearn.in press enter now you have to wait for it. Now finally you will get uh, this message. Congratulations your certificate and uh, chain have been saved. And uh, now next step is to let me scroll down. And uh, next uh, you have to install certificate. So now we have like uh, got the certificate but we haven't uh, installed it. Basically we haven't deployed it. So what uh, we need to do is to switch the working directory for that uh, copy the command here or uh, basically you can switch working directory from here as well 
so this is the working directory so you can type this and let me go back to the article and here you can type here you can see like ls stands for list so here you can see like four certificates basically four certificate files have been uh, downloaded from let's encrypt server to your remote server so now what you got to do is to edit chain.pem file and that is because you have to append root ca basically let's encrypt to generate one certificate file which is chain.pem that is without root ca so what you have to do is to download root ca from somewhere and then append it to your chain.pem file and then you have to use that so to download the root certificate you can simply go to this link i have shared with you guys so you can copy it from here and let me go back to the article next you have to open uh, chain.pem file for that you have to type nano chain.pem pem and after that you will see your certificate here so scroll down at the bottom and then paste the copied certificate after that save it control x yes and press enter all right so next uh, you have to make one directory basically now we are going to verify whether this certificate is valid or not and for that we are going to make a directory and okay it's uh, my mistake let me copy it first all right basically i didn't copy it and it was like that certificate was getting executed anyway now that directory has been created it's time to copy the content of present working directory i mean if you type ls this so i am going to copy content of this folder or this directory which contains uh, these four certificates four certificate files basically to the directory i just created now here uh, don't forget to replace your domain with uh, your domain all right so i will type here in learn dot in and i'll press enter so now if i type ls you can see file is still present but if i uh, let's execute this command go in serial order i'll show you that uh, those file have been actually copied to the location so if i type ls la i mean the next command so here you can see these uh, files are actually present all right so next uh, switch to jimra user all right for that uh, execute next command and then you have to execute uh, you have to basically go to the next directory for that again you have to execute next command it's uh, nothing you have to just uh, uh, keep continuing uh, executing next next command and you you should able to install certificate anyway so copying the next command and uh, here you don't have to make any changes in this command and execute it now here uh, after execution of this command you will get the message like valid certificate chain okay and now i have mentioned this in article so now it's time to deploy the certificate so for that you have to copy the first line of this uh, command so let me copy it and then press enter all right so after that uh, you have to copy the next line as well all right after that press enter and you will see the output something like this so let's uh, wait for it and obviously you can see the output something like that and then you have to restart jimra services to load the new certificate for that you have to execute jdm control restart 
and it will restart all the services and it will reload the services with a new Jimra configuration. So let's wait for it and after installation you can go and check the SSL certificate in browser and you will see connection is secure. So wait for it. It uh, shouldn't take much time but it could take uh, much time if your uh, server having anything less than 8 GB of RAM that I already warned in last video. Basically I tried installing Jimra on server having less than 8 GB of RAM and what I found that some of uh, that services you can see on right now computer screen it stops automatically and without informing me. So obviously then I have to log into the server and then restart uh, all, all the Jimra services but that is not possible every time like uh, it to like say your few services stops and your client uh, um, might be using that service at uh, that particular time. So in that case obviously it's uh, bad for your company and bad for your uh, institutions, organizations, uh, whomever, wherever you are working. Alright now all the services have been uh, restarted now it's time to go to the browser and uh, here you can see the privacy error let me open it in new tab and let's see all right uh, you should put https here as well so let's wait for it to load okay now here you can see like uh, connection is secure certificate valid and uh, i am not getting any ssl certificate warning so this is how you install SSL certificate on Jimra server and I hope uh, this video would prove helpful to you guys. So I really appreciate if you like and subscribe this video and thank you very much and see you in the next video.